is here. I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video what this is. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you anyway. This is my Echo General order. This is the third one I've done with them. The first one was before my YouTube channel, but my second one is on my YouTube channel, so be sure to check that out. Um, I'm gonna unbox it with you today. Before I do, if you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I will also put up an acclimation video of these plants. So hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that, but let's get into the unboxing now. These plants, whew. so I ordered these plants in August. I know quite a few of us in the UK plant community know this already, but Equigenera have had some issues with getting plants into the UK um, over the kind of like, well, last few months really. Um, so I put this order in in August, but I know some people have been waiting since July for their orders. Basically the UK changed some of their paperwork, I believe, and so general was still like they were trying to sort that out but still allowing people to place orders which you know maybe they shouldn't have been or they should have been making it clear um but in my opinion it's worth the wait i know some people did cancel cancel their orders when they didn't arrive in october so we're in november now ordered in august and it is it's a very long time to wait and lots of people were worried about the temperatures dropping which fair enough, but I don't know if you can tell, but it's a very sunny day today. We are having an unseasonably warm autumn, which is lovely, but also, you know, not good, climate change. Yeah. Let's see what's inside. So I, if you've already seen my, um, my other order, You'll know that I had ordered an Anthurium nigrolaminum GG. They're also called Anthurium SP Nepo. And it basically arrived not in a great state. And I let them know and they have replaced it in this order, supposedly. So hopefully there'll be one of those in here. And then I can remember one of the other Anthuriums, but not the others that I've ordered. Thankfully they do put a list. So I'll be able to tell you what they are. I'm so excited. Right, let's get into it. I hope you can see, I'm just gonna check that you can see. Ooh. It's still flying everywhere. You can see, okay. So this is how they come inside the box. They're, I've never had an issue with the way Equigenera package their plants. They are always really well packaged. So there's extra folded paper and the plants are all in these little brown kind of paper bags. So I'm just gonna pull out the first one that is on top. Oh, this is so exciting. So this is an Anthurium Bellarnoeum? No, <laughs> that's not how you say that. Bellarnoeum, I don't know. The villain narrow. Nope. I don't know how to pronounce this one. I'm gonna have to learn it. If anybody knows, can you spell it phonetically in the comments? There's more. Yep. Yeah, there's more paper inside. It looks okay. Hang on, I'm gonna. Paper. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. So, yeah, Anthurium Velenate. I don't know. I'm going to get up close so you can see it. So, I'm just doesn't make the light, aren't I? One leaf, two leaf, three, four, five, and there's this little one here, and there's a tiny little one here. They both look like they're gonna die off. The roots, 
look okay. I mean, they kind of look like they're quite dry, but that's okay. I'll unpackage the root ball in the acclimation video. What I really liked about this Anthurium is that it has, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you actually. Let me see. So it has like a really triangular petiole. So it, it's literally three sides. I don't know if you can tell at all. It's like, I'm gonna show you on this bit. It's, it's literally a triangle. It's very cool. Texture wise. Texture wise, I'd say it's quite thick. It has got like a sh uh, sparkle to it, but I wouldn't call it velvety. I don't really know how I'd describe it. My first Sanvarium. Not my first Sanvarium ever. Someone's chanting England outside. Right, I'm gonna pop this one just down there on the floor for now. See what's going on in the next one. The next bit of brown packaging I can see is the Anthurium Sagittatum. Sagittatum? That sounds right, I think. I can't remember what this one looks like. It's been so long since I placed the order. Ooh, another funky petiole. Was I on a funky petiole find? Ooh. Wow. That is. Oh, that is so weird. How many sides does that have? This is a seedling. I mean, that's a pretty big seedling, isn't it? It's got a new leaf, which whose petiole is the weirdest shape ever. Right, I'm gonna get a place to show you. It's very interesting. But look at that. Like, isn't that weird? Reminds me of like, um, I don't know, like Twizzler sweets or something. These are the leaves. Get kind of leathery, matte. We'll need a clean up. So they've been cleaned with treatments. The roots look, I mean, they look quite green, but again, dry. Usually with imports, Usually with imports, the, the roots do die off. Some of them look okay. Like they are still sort of healthy. We'll see, I just kind of expect them to die off completely. And like this new leaf, I'm not imagining, it's not gonna have liked the drip. It was quite cold last night, so it's probably not been very happy at all. It's a shame because that petiole's really thick. So I imagine this leaf had a destiny to be quite big and it's probably not going to live up to its full potential but I really do like the petioles on this one like I feel like it could be it could have some real good um hybridizing potential like if, if it produced a an inflow and I got some pollen from it and mixed it with something else like a pappy or something like pappies are good to hybridize with everything but like this petiole with like a velvet leaf ooh, that would be nice Right, on to the next. Okay, so this is the Anthurium Peltigerum, which is the main Anthurium that I wanted from this order. Again, a seedling.
this is what I'm really excited about. So I really want it to be beautiful. I've heard that they can be quite um, like hard. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> expecting I feel like all of these tiny little leaves are gonna die off there isn't much of a root system visible on this one it's quite wobbly Isn't it cute? Oh, I, mm, if you watch my um, current wish list plants, I spoke about this one on there and I am so happy to have it in my collection. Look at it. Oh, it's so cool. It's literally like an alien. As I said, I reckon all of these are probably gonna die off and there aren't many roots in the bag that are visible. There is this growth point though that I I guess we'll see what happens with it. It could completely die off or it could it could become something that looks like it was gonna be a leaf. I'm really happy to have that. I'm really happy to have this plant in my collection. Okay, oh, that one down there. And then the last one. So this will be the Nigro Laminum GG replacements so i didn't pay for this one they've just replaced the one that i mean it was, it was basically i don't know if it's hair on my nose it was basically rotted like the it just like it kind of looked okay when it first came out of the packaging and then throughout the video and then the acclimation video it just got worse and worse and it, i have still got the stump and there is like a pup growing off of it but it's not done anything since and I sent them photos, like I, w I didn't lie and say that the plant completely died, I showed them the photo of the stump and they added the replacement onto my order, so I don't think that's too bad a service to be honest. You could, I, they said they can either, um, I think it was either give me a discount off my next order or add another one into my next order, so I just went with adding another one in. All the leaves are like a bit damp and really cold, which is a bit worrying, but hopefully they'll warm up a bit. This is, this is nice looking. Roots look okay, I think, from what I can see. Look at that leaf, that is, pretty perfect oh I really hope it doesn't die off like the last one did these are the roots that are in the bag I'm really happy with that leaf that's so nice that the it looked like it was blurry like it wasn't focused so I hope it wasn't unfocused for a lot of like a lot of that unboxing okay let me see if I can hold all of these together Ooh. <laughs> 
So these are my new pants. <laughs> Again, I've got Nigra Laminum Gigi, the Sachitatum, Sachitatum, the one that I really cannot pronounce, and then the Peltigerum. I will insert some like close-ups at the end of this video. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoy unboxing videos. And like I said at the beginning, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the acclimation video. That will be coming out. It'll probably be the next video that comes out after this one. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!